Ready? Let off. They leave the stalls at the two mile start in the Group 3 ra Tall Lock Brown Stakes, and it's Lismore, Dinard Rose, the Mediterranean, and Fernando Vici. Those four disputing the early running. Track by Silence, please. Couple of links back to Search for a Song and the Stable Companion, Seattle Sound, the White Cap. Aircraft Carrier, just the back marker. Continuing right over on the far side, almost at the end of the opening couple of furlongs, and this more presses ahead of Dinard Rose, then Fernando Vici in the Mediterranean, the favorite in the purple and white colors. Nose banded silence, please, next. Couple of links to Jewel Classic Heroine, Search for the Song, who's upside Seattle Sound, and the back marker is Aircraft Carrier. Continuing right over on the far side of the track, with a mile and a half left to go. Liz Moore and Billy Lee, a length and a half in front of Fernando Vici and Gavin Ryan, and third is Dinard Rose and Andy Slattery. Silence Please has moved up to take the fourth place. Chris Hayes from the Mediterranean and Wayne Lorden, and then Search for a Song and Colin Keane. Seattle Sound, Gary Carroll, last but one, and Aircraft Carrier and Shane Cross bring up the rear. Heading inside the 10, and Liz Moore, has extended her lead to three lengths over Fernando Vici and then Dinard Rose. The Mediterranean is on the outside, running the rail as Silence Please, and then Search for a Song, followed by Seattle Sound and Aircraft Carrier. Very little changes in the order. Heading towards the halfway stage in the Raatal Lock Brown Stakes, it's this more the leader, with a reduced advantage over Fernando Vici and the Mediterranean. The English St. Ledger third, then silence, please, Dinard Rose, search for a song is two behind, Seattle Sound, an aircraft carrier. Heading uphill inside the seven furlong point, and it's Liz Moore from the Mediterranean, improving on the outside of Fernando Vici. In fourth place is silence, please, then search for a song who's gained a bit of ground. Dropping back under pressure is Dinard Rose in a gap to the stable companion Seattle Sound and Aircraft Carrier. Passing the five, about to make the descent for the approach to the straight, Liz Moore from Fernando Vici, inching up on the inside to almost draw level than the Mediterranean in silence. Please search for a song on their heels, and this quintet have broken away from the other three who are struggling. Turning into the straight, not much between Liz Moore and Fernando Vici, being called on for an effort and driven along as the Mediterranean, improving his search for a song on the outside is silence, please. Not much between the five with two and a half furlongs to go and the Rattal locked brown stakes and search for a song has struck the front from silence, please, on the outside of the Mediterranean and then Fernando Vici, Liz Moore's dropped away, but out clear to search for a song, race towards the final furlong. It's Search for a Song, rediscovering best form at her favorite cutter course and the Rattal Lock Brown Stakes. It's going to be winner 118 for champion-elect Colin Keane. Search for a Song, back to her brilliant best. Joined there by, no doubt, delighted Dermot Weld after Search for a Song, who can only be a huge favorite at Rosewell House, won the Group 3 Lock Brown Stakes. Dermot, firstly, congratulations. I'm sure in an ideal world, you would have liked her to put that performance in a couple of weeks ago, but how rewarding to see her bounce back in such style today. I think it was very important to see her come back to the true filly that I know she is. And uh, it was an excellent performance. They went a very good gallop all the way. That suited her well. And she, the race, won a long way out. What was your feeling coming away from here after the Iris and Ledger, the hat-trick bid came up short? Did you know instantly that we uh, hadn't seen the real search for a song I that day? I knew we hadn't seen the right filly. She scoped clean and good post-race. Everything was good before the Ledger for her. Um, she may be over-relaxed. We took the hood off her for today because we might have had her too relaxed for the Ledger. And um, so we changed gear a little bit, as I said, and um, the real filly was seen today. A lovely pace and ride from Colin Keane as well. How impressed was he by what the filly did? Oh, he just loved her. He said it was a joy to ride her. What about future plans now, Dermot? That's the, we're always mm. looking ahead in no, this sure. game, aren't we? <laughs> Will we see her again before the end of this Look, season? I'll speak with Eva Marie Hafner, who owns her. We'll decide um, where her next race would be. There's a couple of Group 1 possibilities and a Group 2 for her. And uh, we'll look at one more run this year with her. Is there a possibility we could see her again in 2022? Again, I'll speak with Eva Marie and we'll discuss it. You know, she's a very valuable filly for breeding purposes. She's a multiple classic winning filly. 
uh, but um, it's a possibility. That's great to hear. Dermot, we've got a huge week ahead, obviously culminating sure. in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe this day week. Tarnawa, your big hope is obviously atop the market. How has your preparation gone up to now since Leopardstown? Look, her preparation's gone very well. It's, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing very dramatic to do with her. She's a fit filly and I, I'm happy with her. Mm. When will she travel over? Is she going to fly over on the that day? Hasn't, that hasn't been decided yet. But she takes her travelling well, we know that no, from she what we She takes her travelling well, she does indeed. How do you see the picture in the arc this year? Do you think it's, it's a well a, up to scratch edition? I think it's above average race. Mm. But I, I presume you wouldn't swap your filly for anything, would you? No, no way. Definitely not. Dermot, is she going to be your only runner at Longchamp over the two days? She'd probably be. There's a possibility maybe of Homeless Song, but I'd say we'll decide that during the week. Tremendous. Well, we look forward to seeing her in action next Sunday. And in the meantime, well done again. Great to see Thank you with you Search for Song. Thanks, Gareth. Thanks, Appreciate Dermot. it. Good man. Well done. Oh,